Welcome to the Director's Cut of Christian Nutrition, the show where we review every single episode of VeggieTales chronologically. And by we, I mean just me. Lyle the Kindly Viking was released in March of 2001, and let me tell you, I feel bad for anyone who saw every single VeggieTales episode, with the last one being Esther, because that means for seven months, they had that bad taste left in their mouth. I wouldn't blame anyone for losing faith in VeggieTales after that terrible episode. It was just that bad. But hopefully Lyle will cleanse our palates and get us back on track. King George did such a good job. It's unreal that they would lose track. But anyways, Lyle the Kindly Viking. And now Larry and I have gotten a lot of letters with questions about sharing. When do I have to share? Why do I have to share? Whatever happened to Funny and Share? Questions, questions, questions. Well, the silliness is back all of a sudden. I don't know why it ever left. I couldn't help but notice that in King George and the Ducky, you let Jimmy and Jerry put on a show. Your point? I'd like to do a show. Oh my gosh, yes. Please let Archibald host. I beg you. It's about sharing, Bob. Oh, all right. Yes, flippin' sweet. It is about time Archibald got his spot in the limelight. Everything is coming together beautifully. There is no way they can mess this up. Uh, did you get the script? Well, actually, this Hamlet, she was very hard to find. But we found something very similar. Oh, similar! Ah, silly French peas, what did you find? Omelette? Just the name, she makes you hungry, you no? Know? No argument here. Let's see what a play based on breakfast food is all about. Basically, we see a kingdom that is in desperate dire need of eggs, yet Prince Omelet, yes, his name is Omelet, doesn't want to share the little amount of eggs that are left. But soft, it is Ophelia. I don't want to do it. It's embarrassing. No, be ridiculous. It's tradition. In Shakespeare's day, all the women's roles were played by men. <laughs> Wait a second, are you telling me Mr. Lunt's going to play a woman? This is... Just, let's watch. It is I, the fair Ophelia. The people, my lord! They're starving! There are not enough eggs for them! Meanwhile, you feast on eggs every day! The prince doesn't understand why he would share his eggs. After all, he likes eggs, and there are only so many left. And he's the prince! To eat, or not to eat? That! Is the question. Would you like to share my game? Well, sure. Playing's the thing. To be. Uh, not to be. Drat. You called your highness? Uh, no, not yet. No mistake. Oh, servant. You called your highness? Seriously, is this not the best rendition of any Shakespeare play you've ever seen? I mean, why can't Veggie Shells just do a series where they sillify every Shakespeare play? I would pay good money for that. I have decided to share my eggs with you! But sire, there aren't enough eggs to go around! Uh, they're the little white round things that uh, come out of chickens. What? We thought those were ping pong balls. We got plenty of those. Where might I find some toast? Get thee to a bakery. Did you understand any of that? Not a word. What are they talking about? That was wonderful. I could literally watch that 10 more times. I don't even need to see Junior as a Viking anymore. Hamlet, I mean, a uh, omelet, is the best play of our generation. And now it's time for silly songs with Larry, the part of the show. Stop! Stop! Don't even think about it! And now it is time for classy songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a classy song. Interesting. Let's see if Archibald is on to something here. One day, while he was waiting for the trolley, he had a hat. My high silk hat. I bet that others wish they had. In fact, a hat as this, a hat as that, a hat so fine, a high silk hat. Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Larry loves his high silk hat so much, but eventually he reaches a crossroad that has him covering his chocolate with his high silk hat. Then a squash sits on it. The end. That was amazing. Seriously. Is there anything this episode could do wrong? We have that lost musical! Oh! We have it right here! Right here! The lost musical of this Gilbert and Sullivan! Mary? Lyle the Kindly Viking! 
reading a musical pop-up book. I wonder what the Vegas odds are on Archibald finding out that this is not the play he thought it was going to be. Good morning, Mabel. How are you, dear? Oh, just fine and dandy. Is Harold round here? That kind of sounds like a Disney song I know. And with all this romantic atmosphere, disasters in the air. I knew it sounded too familiar. The two wives sing about how they wish they had married differently, but it is too late now. We're Viking, what do you know? The terrors of the sea. We're Viking, wherever we go, pillaging happily. We're Viking. After that amazing musical number, we see all the loot that the Vikings bring back from the local monastery. Archibald clarifies to us how they were essentially stealing, which is a big duh, Archibald. We are then introduced to our hero, Lyle. You missed another raid, Lyle. I know, I was making stuff. Oh geez, Junior, I will admit, in recent episodes, you've gotten a lot better to the point where you're not my least favorite character anymore. But please, I beg of you, do not ruin this episode. It's, it's going perfectly so far. Lyle never went on the raids. Instead, he'd stay home and make crafts. Uh, uh, pot holders, to be exact. Is Lyle? No, I don't want to say it yet. Here's your share of the loot, Lyle. Uh, don't worry, it's the least we could give you. Despite the condescending tone, I actually find that it's pretty cool that the Vikings still give him some of the loot. They don't have to do that. They did all the work. In fact, I encourage them not to give him any loot, but they've already made that decision. Now, Lyle was definitely an unusual Viking. Lyle is gay. There, I said it. It may not be apropos, but Lyle is gay. He is a man that avoids doing his duties as a man and instead makes potholders. Now, I want to clarify. I'm not saying Junior is gay. I'm saying Lyle, the character, is gay just so we're clear. As it is explained to us, Lyle takes the loot he gets and his handmade pot holders, ugh, and goes out on his own expedition. You guys go ahead, we'll catch up. Uh, Sven, you don't have to sing. But it's a musical. Bob and Larry spy on Lyle to see that he basically just returns all of the loot he's given and also gives pot holders to the people that the Vikings just looted from, which of course is not okay at all. Not so fast. Don't take another hop. We know where you've been, and we think it's gotta stop. Uh-oh. Busted. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? But when I share, I get my share of friends. Do -do 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 or maybe Lyle is just kooky and not gay. I don't know anymore to be completely candid with you. Yeah. Yep, Lyle is a psychopath. Lyle ends up convincing Bob and Larry to keep it all secret via his song, but for some reason, despite having just raided it, the Vikings return to the same monastery to raid it again? I, I don't understand. They wouldn't have any more loot. It hasn't even been that long. Also, Junior is there returning his share again. But Junior already did this. We saw him return his share earlier when Bob and Larry were spying on him and then he just sang this song to them. Like it just, it was the scene before this one. Are we being led to believe that the Vikings raided the monastery again in between the last scene and this scene and Junior is once again returning the loot, which means that they have raided this place three times in a row in a short time span nonetheless. Is there so much at this monastery to be raided? Are they just like not able to fit it all on their boat on one trip and they're just like, we gotta go back for more, you know? This all seems quite unrealistic, even for Veggie Tales. Bob and Larry spot Lyle return the gold, but no one else has yet seen Lyle do this, which causes a classic sitcom-y case of Bob and Larry trying to make everyone not notice their friend is doing something he shouldn't be. Ah, did you see it? The veggie of course. And he left something with those monks. Uh oh, doubly busted. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? What do you think you're doing? I was giving them stuff back. Um, yeah. It's over for Lyle. He doesn't stand a chance. Abandoned ship. The storm gets worse and worse and capsizes both ships. 
Lyles Monastery friends help him get to shore. They don't want to help the other Vikings, but as we realized earlier, Lyle is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> Everyone ends up being saved by Lyle and friends, which of course has an instant effect that causes rapid character development. Thank you, our new friends. You saved us from the sea. See what I mean? That was very rapid character development. Though I do wonder, when are they going to pillage again? My money's on next week. The lost musical of Gilbert Jones and Sullivan O'Kelly? What? That's not right. I knew it, not the right story, but you have to admit, Archbold, it was pretty good. I could have your union cards for this, you know. You'll never work on the West End again. Remind me to not ever upset Archibald. Ever. Well, we're over here by QWERTY to talk about what we uh, uh, learned today. That is a meme waiting to happen. Someone make it. If, if you don't make it, I'll make it. Someone's making it. I will use it constantly. Bob and Larry sum up how sharing won't get you more stuff, but it will get you more friends, which is what is actually important. And do not forget to do good and to share with others. For with such sacrifices, God is pleased. Hebrews 13, 16. God made you special and he loves you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, that was Lyle the kind of- Oops, sorry. <laughs> Bob, don't look. Just roll the credits, Larry. Roll the credits. Don't worry, Bob. We all know those feelings. Anyways, that was Lyle the Kindly Viking. A really well done episode. In fact, it just reminds me of King George, which is... It's silly. It's fun. It has a good silly song. It's just a good episode. I don't mean a good silly song. I mean a good classy song with Larry. Because there's no way the same wonderful people who made King George made Esther in between King George and Lyle. King George and Lyle are so good, Esther's like... Anyways, we have to move on past Esther, otherwise I will, my, my brain will explode. Stay tuned, as next time we take on the big one, the mother load, the biggest episode yet. Well, it's not even an episode, it's a movie actually. Jonah, a VeggieTales movie. And I just wanna let you know, I do have a surprise up my sleeve for Jonah. It won't be your standard Christian nutrition episode. Remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Bye.